Okay, hi, welcome and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 16. We are gonna be continuing Riding Wrong's mission. We didn't actually get to finish it last time. It was definitely more built on lore and yeah, basically lore, finding out what stuff is going on. Let's talk to Ale. Ah, oh, you're Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. So these are Wouldn't something that was unlocked by Otto, tonight. I believe. That depends. To create alliances need? with Some people in other places. Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. The man must have been a bloody tyrant. I can't get a peep out of them, try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> You're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? I can try. I can try. That'll do me. <laughs> Tell them they're safe and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue breather, looks like. Exhausted. Oh my gosh. I'm a bear. So you're the new arrivals. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. Mm-hmm. I'm hungry. My sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. Oh my god. Okay, let's go to the tavern. Ugh. Really? Oh. Ooh. So it took a tilt between the wardens of Leiden. I suppose I have a moment. No. Very good then. I'm good. Can I have another cup? I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We've enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. Ooh. It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. How could you? It's essentially right on his face. Require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Oh, <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> Just talking about. I do as Master Quinton commands, that. as do we all. And I'll Master Quinton commands see the that even his favoured guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. Okay. Bread and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. Ooh, the squeaky noise. Not a fan of that. <laughs> Don't tell me. Turn him for some. Brother, did you see? That bearer spoke to a master. They're surprised. <gasps> yeah. Bread and wine from the tavern. Wait, where is the little innkeeper simple symbol? His scar. Anyway, truly. Mm. Nice little ASMR. I thought that was someone throwing up. Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. You're safe here. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you for everything. I mean, it wasn't. 
I don't want to say it's nice because it was a nice ordeal, but it was a nice mission to do. Okay, there's this one over here. What's this one? Bet you'd like to see what's beyond that door, wouldn't you? Well, not on my watch. Oh. Master Quinton will never forgive me if I... What have you done? What haven't you done? I, I, I want no trouble. Wait, wait, that's... Oh, glory to Grieger. You were the hanged man. I took you for a rogue. If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wing's pride and joy, has been beset by a plague of giant wasps. Oh. This then damn you need vineyard. someone to solve your pest problem. I do indeed. I've never seen them so far from the forest, nor so mean for that matter. I suppose the smell's gotten worked up. And little wonder, this'll be the finest crop we've ever known if the fiends don't eat it first. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes of me. And if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. You look like you can handle that blade it. of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? Of course. Please, rid us of these wasps so I can be about my business. Okay. All right. I'll see to it. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lost Wing needs those grapes. Okay. <laughs> hmm, I wonder. This lazy, I feel like it's lazy. Is there a statue around here? I'm gonna travel to here and then I'm gonna travel to <laughs> just make it a bit easier for myself. But can I travel closer? I don't think I can. Can I? Wait, is it this one? It's fine, I'll just walk it. It's not that far. I need to stop being lazy. <laughs> Yeah, it's just up here. That must be the vineyard. A few wasps shouldn't give me too much trouble. Well, we'll see about that. I want the shinies though. Dude, there are like wasps. I don't know if you want to be here. <laughs> Just warning you. Something happens to you? Not my fault. What the? Okay. Hi, guys. Get him. Get him, boy. He's sick of toggle. Get him. <laughs> that was the place. I'm really not too mad about using. In case you were wondering, though. the boys finally cleared the road to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not too mad about it. I mean, nothing's really going to happen between going from there to there. It just saves a bit of time. I keep missing this doorway. The 
those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, oh that was. Thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Our Gotand Rouge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and Imperial wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work, a place where they'd be safe. Well, he certainly seems to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your <laughs> kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, Aww. there'll be a glass or two raised in your honor. <laughs> Dionysus. Dino. Oi. Sorry, Dino was just being a little rat. Okay. Now, let's head on to Northreach. We are going to meet the dame. I believe. Sun setting fast. They'll all be back from the vineyard. Stay soon. as long as you like. Any friend Aww. of salt is a friend of ours. How sweet. Is it up here? Yeah, it's up here. Honestly, this place I think can get to quite confusing with the different levels. Clear view. <laughs> Where's Toggle and Jill? Did they go with Sid? I think that was Sid. Easy. No, wait, Toggle's here. Oh, maybe... Maybe Jill went with... Sid and I kept Toggle. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. I feel like we came through here with Sid, did we not? Oh, they're running away. Yeah, probably for the best, won't I? Get him, boy! Dino actually such a rat whenever I'm recording. <laughs> he doesn't want to know me otherwise, but when I'm recording, he just wants my attention. Honestly, Toggle and I are such a dream team. Oh, these guys are fine if you don't um, target them, so I'm gonna leave them be. The soldiers used to speak of a brothel, and that was north of the checkpoint. <sighs> north really. Had the dame has friends in the south. No, oh, and a giant of roast well, end. Like a plum for the apple of your eye. Welcome, good. Back off, Brandy. Only soon with a customer. Okay. Well, how much for this one? You know how they feel about Brandit here. Search for the dame. Okay. There's a merchant or someone over here, though. Oh yeah, look, they're using the crystals. <gasps> Statue. And what can I do for you? 
absolutely nothing. That stuff is trash. I'll be this here stuff if you need me. Ooh, okay. Have you no other bearers? Those two look rather used. Used? Oh. Yes, but spent hardly. They've both at least a good year left in them. Excuse me. You can't. There he is. He was just on my desk. I'm sorry. However, do they get that color? <sighs> That's what's setting my allergies off him. <laughs> I'm guessing I won't be able to. Not another there. step, Brandy. Yeah. Well, I'm guessing this is either the dame or she knows where the dame is. Oh, my face. A moment, my lady. A moment? <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. Mm. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Oh. Do you think you could please me, Clive? Sorry, I'm not on the market. Is that the daughter's You're mother? You're the dame. Let us leave such. Impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. Mm. I can trust you, can't I? Can I trust you? You can I trust me, yes, question. but why would you help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. Hmm. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... So you're gonna come with me? Unless... <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deign to appear. Yeah. That will do nicely. But I shall expect a favor in return. I thought you did this out of the kindness Wait, of your heart. What? The sigh of defeat. Oh gosh. Clive. Are you gonna buy something or not? No. Stuff is trash. Like you. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. Can you not burn from it the off? moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Okay. Madame, back to the vial already. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all <laughs> at sunset. Oi, hold up. What? <sighs> Another fucking branded. Well, you're lucky you're with the dame. Get out of my sight, filth. 
the difference in attitude towards him when she was there and when she wasn't. Ooh. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. Oh, yeah. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement, as do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Okay. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. <laughs> That's the day done then. My Hi cousin guys. in the capital said they lost one of the wolves to an ether flood. So yeah, I don't really understand why they hated bearers, but it is apparently because they were basically born with more power than the rest of them and they don't like that i i that's what i kind of got um daily regi regimen This looks awfully similar to, similar to when we started with Baby Clive and he did all his practicing. Hi. Can we just leave? I guess we can. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know where I've gone. I... The markets are a veritable bitter. Well, I can just go down here. There we are. Somehow ended up perfectly where I need to be. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Damn, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Aww. Shall I have cute. one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. I didn't come from that way. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. Mm. Nice place. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the How do you know? Yes. Otto asked me to help oh, them okay. as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel mm. as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. No, I can't say I'm any good at it. one person. I trust you'll do your best. Oh. It was inside him all this. along. Okay, except the moon and the stars from Isabel. Proof of that trust. Did her face just get really red for some reason? eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. Okay. Let us go. I should probably start here. 
You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Yeah. Enough to help me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. Ooh, we she saw went her away? before she disappeared. The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb. A gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her my shoulder. But perhaps someone else did. Who? Tatienne shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Okay. Thank you. Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. If the dame has given you her trust, then you have ours as well. Damn, the suit's tall. Always welcome here at the Vale. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm told I'll you be share a around with that real work. Thank Did you? she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. Ooh, who? She didn't mention a name. But I know exactly who she meant. Tell me. You do? Who? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gill he earned on Tatienne. And picked fights with anyone How's else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatienne was fatted oh, at first. Yeah, yeah, okay, but it didn't okay. take long for her to get scared. She thought about mm. saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. Oh, no. She didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. Probably not. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him. And you'll find her. Please be alive. A man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. Please. Well done. Please. I suppose you'll need a little something. To... Excuse me. You there? No, I'm busy at the moment. Sorry. <laughs> You're one of the dames, I see. Well, you'd best be back to the Vale before the sun sets. Why is that? It's not been half a moon since Bellin's killed. Heard the bones fell by I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel branded? Fuck off. <laughs> Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the Vale's doors will be bought for good. Oh, indeed. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. What does he usually On account it? of him being in war. Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame thanks you. Okay. Moore is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. Um, gosh, this place is a bit tricky to navigate. You are one of the dames chosen, I see. We have a banjo. Is that a banjo? I am but a nameless weaver of song. That dog Would was in the lost the way. of the good folk of this town with such humble cloth as the muse might permit me to make. You have one of you in the hideaway as well. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Oh, Tatian, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Of course. Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is. But I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers. 
then they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. We can't just leave There is her. a man in Moore who owes me a favor. More than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. Okay. Off to more we go! thinking like I don't know how I feel about missions like these Orifla, how many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full you see it too then it's not just me bleary eyes playing tricks on me oh my god look. if you mean the wave stopped at full crest then yes I do how could I miss the bleeding thing Toggle. <laughs> Toggle, you keep scaring me. What? No! I'm not here to fight things, okay? I don't always want to fight. That's enough for today, branded. Oh, God. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure how I feel about these types of missions. Obviously, it's quite nice for world building and stuff like that, but. It's a bit like, you know, when you just want to get. Well, but like you're waiting for something yeah, and then you just keep getting side tracks. Like these kind of feel more like side missions than they do main story. If, if the people sense. of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says, it's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Oi, don't touch anything. This stuff is trash. Thanks for nothing. Thank you for nothing. Uh, who am I speaking to? Bertrand. He's a deserter, do you? <laughs> when you just in the uh, lost me. Are you who I need to speak to? Oh no. All that clean? You good for nothing sluggard. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh, hey. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing, and I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one's been seen quarreling Ooh. with a soldier. Is he still here? Is that a Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. Where is he? If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. Okay. Oh, he's up here. Speak with the traveling trader. Oh! I tried speaking to you just before I went to him. What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for a constable? I come to you from Northreach at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Why, of course I have. Oh! I am the good lady's servant. That's too changed then. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes, uh, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. No. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that Wait, it was of so great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound, but as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Okay. 
Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Okay, don't tell people I'm here. Uh, be sure and tell her, won't you? That I was helpful, I mean. Most helpful. I could, but I don't want to. Let's get up here. I want to know how he brought that up in a conversation, though. Like, yeah, I'm shouting at you, blah, 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 blah. But I'm actually going to this place. Just so you know. Someone's probably going to come and ask. I want to get this thing. I saw it and I want it. Oh, wow. All of that for two gil. Thanks. <laughs> so worth it. Sorry. <laughs> Damn, they really did not go far. Oh, do I have to fight it these guys? It smells of death here, Togo. Oh no. Wolves. We can't let them get any closer to the village. Oh no. Sick of Togo. Keep your distance, boy. They tried to fight, or I guess the guy tried to fight. Well, the wolves have been busy, but the blood is long dry. They were killed by someone else, probably. The comb. So it is you, Tatian. They killed by someone if else. That's true, the... and the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatien. You. Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find okay? Yannick. By the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. What? Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <laughs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one in the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. His hair looks amazing. We all know what happens to deserters. <laughs> Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Oh. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. I mean, at least she has closure. I need to tell this about. Come on, Togo. <sighs> Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatian by. 
This music is very intense. Weren't expecting any new brain. Oh, she's speaking to yeah, Bertrand. Bertrand, I think. If it was You are still in one piece, I see. Yep. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. <gasps> Oh, they said they would meet said. you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but you needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You, you found her then? Yeah. I see. My dear Tatia, oh. <laughs> it is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who is young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatia. I believe it Chocobos was yours. really do be ruining the vibe. Several of the teeth appear to have been recently broken. Oh my god. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. That's complete. Ooh. I should go. Before you do, I have one last Ooh, gift. Oh, I love gifts. A token of my thanks. The Vale counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. Mm -hmm. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Ah. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. Is this to do with the little... that possibly be true now, could it? War that's currently taking Take place. Take care, Clive. I Me will. Too. And thank you again. To be honest, I'm too, a bit too, like... Uh, sorry, there's something here. I, I probably won't in the field yesterday. do any more side quests this episode just because we've already done two you, Randy. and these guys are horrible so why would i want to help them i will probably come back um we, i mean i we probably will come back here so um what am i saying we'll come back here at some point and do those side missions but for now I'm just gonna head on to meet up with Jill and sit. I just, ah, I feel bad saying this, but I don't find the side missions all that interesting. They're kind of just badge quests or, yeah, go save this person for me, please, thanks. Then do it. I don't know, there's no real depth. The child's horrible. It's, it's, it's just how I kind of view them. I'm hoping as they get better, they do seem to be getting a bit more substantial or getting gaining a bit more substance as the further uh, progress into the game. So maybe these ones um, are a lot better than the ones we've had in the early game. Sid, Jill. Any trouble on the way? None worth mentioning. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am, the deserter come home. Which is why we'll be taking the back door. Oh. Oh, was that what we saw? Or was there a different wave that was frozen? Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, the 
pleasure houses, Oriflam. Ooh, here we are. Safer place in the Empire than it. Mm. Brothel. Oh. Mm. Really? Doesn't seem very private. <laughs> Such a charmer. How do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most. Which is a start. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut? And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. And I'm guessing it didn't I go well. I may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered. Look at Jill in the bag. <laughs> Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is, if the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious yeah. leaders care for but one selfish. thing themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. Which is why they're not light, right? What makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent? Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Nothing, just a pawn. Our fate means nothing to them. Their game. No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. <laughs> but what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. <laughs> ah, that'll do me. You might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. Your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. He's kind of angry. Right, what's this? Um, Drake's head. In majestic silence, as Drake's head ever stood vigil over the Empire of Sambrek and its bejeweled capital. Oh. Wait, what? What do you mean? You've reached a pivotal moment in the story. If you continue, you will not be able to proceed. No. So, wait, you will not be able to what? Wait, we're leaving this place? Okay, well, for the moment, I'm just going to travel back to Northreach. And I'm going to leave it there. That's interesting, though. What does that mean? I, I don't know. But... Yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. I think I might on stream 
before I continue, I will on stream go through and do the side quests because there's no more main missions to do with it. And there's quite a few side quests. I just really hope they're interesting. I'll try playing a few and I'm, I just, they're okay. They're not amazing. They haven't been particularly like incredible. They've just been pretty basic. So yeah, I will definitely do it on a stream. I won't make a video out of it. Really interested though to where this is gonna go. So I think there's probably like three acts to the game maybe. We're definitely gonna be completing the first act, but I'm confused as to where it can kind of go from here, especially if we can't come back to this place, the entirety of it. So that's intriguing. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you in the next part of Final Fantasy 16. Okay, bye.